Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. I've got um, Josh downstairs. It's, it's Saturday, it's Saturday morning, but I'm in because I'm doing some refinancing and rather do it in the middle of the week when, in fact, you can hear Josh on the radio and you can hear my stuff printing. Rather than doing it in the middle of the week, I kind of just rather do it on Saturday morning, relax, just go nice and steady through everything to make sure I've got everything completely sent out. So it's a very, um, not minor point, but important but minor point. When you're building a team, and everyone talks about things like power teams, and it's absolutely right, your insurance broker. So wonderful that they get you cheap insurance, that's wonderful. Wonderful that they get you insurance that actually fits your needs. Obviously remember to read your insurance policy. I, I did read mine when I was waiting for a plane to America once and discovered a couple of things that I hadn't appreciated. One was that all of my files need to be inspected uh, either by me or by someone else every six months and have a kind of inspection sheet sign off almost like um you know when you see toilets being uh, this toilet was cleaned at same thing otherwise you're not insured for cannabis farms which is always interesting in bristol because you know home of the tokers in bristol not me by the way i don't do anything like that but also the other thing that's quite useful is uh, at the moment i'm refinancing for example so that's my um insurance policy just printing out and when you refinance you need to get the name of the lender noted uh, and you need to get it reinsured to the uh, correct uh, re rebuild cost. And in fact, whether you're refinancing or not, it's really useful every year to have a look at your current rebuild cost. Now, you may want to do a bit of an estimate or you may want to get um, a surveyor, but you know, stuff that I owned 10 years ago is worth double or in some cases triple what it was worth uh, then and therefore my rebuild costs are going to go up and if I kept, if I hadn't kind of uh, done any RICS valuations and got an official rebuild cost and if I kept the old rebuild costs and, and touch wood, the house burned down, God forbid it ever did, and I had to rebuild it, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't make sure my insurance was covered. So what am I saying? Number one, have an insurance broker who provides you with great terms and good prices. Number two, have an insurance broker who can turn around getting uh, tweaks done to your insurance proper, uh, really fast. So I asked Josh for it yesterday. He got it from our broker yesterday and I'm sending it off to the mortgage guys and the, the um, lawyer today, which is about noting the interest of the lender and getting a rebuild value increase in the insurance policy. And number three, um, make sure that you look at your rebuild values if you haven't reassess the value of your portfolio for a while and just make sure that it's up to date. Um, because we did a, a poll recently in our mentoring group because I was thinking, no, house rebuilds and house fires must be very, very rare. And, and out of a group of just under 50, two people had had a house fire. So it's not as um, sadly as, as, um, as statistically unlikely as I thought. Anyway, I am back to my paperwork. I thought I'd share that classic little gem of insurance with you. And don't be yawning. This stuff counts. It's not the sexy stuff, but it's still going to work for you. See you soon. Bye.